It's probably one of the top three shows of the last year. I'm not saying that the show is cut imperfectly. And the Emmy goes to Mike White, The White Lotus. The editors of The White Lotus are amazing. I barely ever pay attention to the editing. I was seeing this one scene, instantly I felt like, oh, this could go, this could go. This would be so much stronger. She performs so much subtext. Then it was just spoon feeding me too much of what she was thinking when I already knew what she was thinking. I thought I'm just gonna quickly recut the scene and find out if it's stronger. This video is brought to you by Musicbed. Music for unforgettable moments. You don't have to know everything to love someone. A mystery. It's kind of sexy. All right, so here's the scene. I'm gonna spoil the show a little bit for you. This guy right here, he's married to Harper is the character. They went on a couple's trip together and he suspect that her husband messed around with his wife. It was a drunk, dumb nothing. It was less than nothing. He is about to tell her that he has the suspicion. Let's just watch a little bit of that scene. He just had a big fight with uh, Harper and now he finds her on the beach. Ethan! Come here, sit down. All right, so he's gonna go down, they're gonna talk a little bit, and then at some point he's gonna reveal. Cameron Parker? Cameron Harper, what? Maybe something happened. This might be the best performance of her in the entire series. I don't think you have anything to worry about. And now she talks. I mean, we never really know what goes on in people's minds or what they do, right? You spend every second with somebody. There's still this part that's a mystery. All this stuff here. What they do, right? You spend every second with somebody. It just weakens it for me. In that particular moment, I felt so much, and then suddenly I'm like, whoa, now you're telling me what I'm supposed to feel? I'm already feeling it. She's explaining herself, she's explaining her emotions, and I don't think she needs to. So I'm gonna take this part out for sure. I kind of also wanna take out, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's play this. This is a little funky here. She turns, she looks over there. Maybe she already needs to be speaking right here. I want this line to start over there. I'm gonna take this part out and I'm just going to do a little, what we call an L cut, where the audio comes before the picture. The hand, I, yes, there's a little continuity issue. I don't know if it's a problem. I don't think it is because her head is moving right there and it sort of matches the action and it disguises this. So right now it's probably throwing you, but I don't think it's gonna throw the audience when they see this. You don't have to know everything to love someone. Oh, that already works better for me. I wish his reaction was a little bit longer, but I don't have the shot in its raw form, so there's nothing I can do about it. A mystery? It's kind of sexy. That's kind of good. She has learned to deal with the sins of her husband, and she is transmitting that to him. I'm a mystery to myself. Honestly, I surprise myself all the time. Don't need this. So I'm going to take this part out. I think you just... You just... Do whatever you have to do. Not to feel like a victim of life. Boom. And I think the scene is over. His reaction, and then her. 
You just use your imagination. Don't need this. Somewhere here, I'm gonna cut this out as well. You know? There's a double head movement here. We can just complete that. It's really more his eyes. Have you been over there yet? You saw Bella? I think that works. I really want to go before we leave. Okay, and then the scene can continue the way it is. And I really love how this plays out. I want to play for you my final version of this scene after I massaged it some more. But first, I want to stress that this re-edit is not about who cut this better. We as filmmakers have the power to decide how much we let our characters say and how much we trust that the subtext is doing the work. Often, it's not words, but reactions or shots or even music that truly emotionally engages the audience as they figure out the meaning in their mind. And that's a crafty segue to thank Musicbed, the sponsor of this video. They are fast becoming my favorite place to find great music for my projects as they work with over a thousand authentic, relevant artists like Joe Ike. With over 40,000 songs available, finding the right cue is made easy through their intuitive search tools, optimized for filmmakers and creatives. Genre, mood, beats per minute, or music key, it is all smartly cross-referenced. Browse through curated playlists from your favorite filmmakers or creators like Sam Calder. Wow. Or keep tab on what's new. And if you still want help finding what you need, the team at Musicbed is ready to provide you customized search results. Find out for yourself and sign up for a free account using my code ThisGuyEdits at checkout to get one month free with your annual subscription. Now, let's play this new version of The White Lotus. Maybe something happened. You don't have to know everything to love someone. A mystery. It's kind of sexy. You just do whatever you have to do not to feel like a victim of life. Those were the changes that I immediately sensed when I was watching the scene, just taking out all the bits where she's giving almost exposition. You let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to find out if you think that scene plays better this way. This is an example of something that editors do all the time. And I refer to it as the building block theory. The fact that we take shots and words and sounds and we play with them, we mix them up and give the audience just enough information so that they can feel what's going on. It's something that I talked about before in a live webinar. And if you're interested, I'm gonna give this live webinar again for free. I'll include a link in the video description where I talk about the editing block theory and I go through various examples, for example, from Euphoria. We're turning the story again. Now we're cutting really fast. There's a scene where the editor completely recut the scene. There was supposed to be an eight minute scene. He cut it down to two minutes and made it all about the subject. And I explain why he potentially made that choice and you get to see how it plays out. Now they get even more magnified because we're just throwing out these words. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy editing and cheers. First of all, in that scene, there were a lot of dynamic shifts and they always are. And that story should always be plausible yet surprising. I want to talk a little bit about the concept of the kitchen sink and editor's cut because usually when I talk about these, like editors taking liberty and just making these bold choices, 